Hey, what's up everybody? Today we are taking a look at Owl Boy from D-Pad Studios. It's out on pretty much every platform right now, and we are taking a look at the Nintendo Switch version today. Owl Boy is a retro platformer that trades horizontal jumping and running for vertical flying and exploration. You play as Otis, a mute owl who is out to save his city and the world from total annihilation. It's a game that has a lot of heart and an extremely well-crafted universe. Otis is a cool little owl. You immediately sympathize with him. When he's supposed to be on guard duty, he goes chasing a troublemaker through some caves, which allows for a pirate invasion of his town. After that, it's up to him to adventure out, stop the pirates, and recover three powerful relics. Otis doesn't have an attack of his own, really, so he's going to be flying and dashing around. He needs his friends to bring the firepower. Otis's best friend Getty has a pea shooter gun. Alfonso, pirate defector, brings a fiery shotgun blast and Twig can tangle up enemies with his spiderweb shooter, as well as grapple and zip around past obstacles. To get through the levels, you're gonna be swapping between these characters and allowing them to help you get through obstacles. Owlboy has some really great sequences, some clever puzzles, and some exciting boss battles. And as you progress through the story, each level brings new mechanics and new characters. And even though you might only be in a level for a little while or interact with another character briefly, it all comes together to make this feel like a living world. One that I think could make for a great animated series or even a movie. There's that much story going on here. Like a lot of people when I first saw screenshots of this game, I was like, damn, I need to play that. Every environment, every boss, every background element is just beautifully made. It has some of the best pixel art that I've seen in any modern retro style game. The game doesn't have voiceover, so it's up to the character animations to sell the emotions, and each character is so expressive. To me, it brought back memories of classic LucasArts games like Sam and Max, where characters were over the top and cartoonish and fun to watch. There's just so much personality in these pixels. The game also uses color and color correction in some really fun ways. I particularly loved the real-time sunsets and day-night cycles in some levels. Pixel art is not in short supply these days, but Owlboy's craftsmanship takes it from a game whose art is already better than most to a place that's nearly untouchable. If the game stumbled anywhere for me, it was in the combat. I just never really felt like I fully got the hang of it. Otis can dash, but he can't shoot or attack really, so you have to fly around to avoid enemies while you swap between your friends to choose the right weapon. And the weapons themselves never felt fully satisfying. Getty's pea shooter has a limited range at first and it takes several shots to kill anything. Alphonse's shotgun has an extremely limited range and a long cooldown time. Twig is the exception here. His web shooter has a long range and it shoots fast. It can disable enemies and be used to zip around quickly. His abilities are a lot of fun, so it's kind of a bummer that you don't get to him until a little later in the game. Sure, once he's unlocked, you can go back and fully explore areas, but in terms of the main story, I might have liked to have him a little sooner. So you'll be swapping around as you fly around to avoid enemies, and Otis floats because he's, you know, an owl. So making precise moves isn't really the game's strong suit, and there's not always a lot of room on the screen to avoid enemies. I think when you expect a game to be hard, like Celeste or Fury, your expectations are in line with the challenge. I kind of want to go back and play through sections again because I think there might have been some strategies I missed along the way that could help. I don't want to make this sound like a game breaking problem because it's not. Out of the eight hours I played, sure, there were a few minutes of frustration. Those just stood out because the rest of the game is so polished and enjoyable. This is a game with a terrific story, great characters, amazing art, design, and music. And I think that maybe some small tweaks or buffs to the combat could have really helped. Overall, Owlboy is a great game. It's a refreshing take on a Metroidvania platformer, and the world, story, art, and characters are easily worth the price of admission. I give Owlboy a 7.5 out of 10. Thanks for watching, everybody. What was your favorite part of Owlboy? Leave me a comment below and let me know. Hit that like button if you like this review, and subscribe if you're feeling it and you want to see more videos from us. Thanks, everybody. See you next time.